welcome viewers to the Breast Cancer Awareness Program. You may ask yourself, why are women constantly being reminded to submit themselves for breast cancer screening? Well, let me share one known fact with you, a very important fact. Breast cancer is the most common cause of cancer in women in Singapore. One in 17 will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. However, if detected early, breast cancer can be treated effectively. Let me walk you through a typical mammography screening procedure. When should you go for a mammogram? If mammography is new to you and you don't know where to go, here's the criteria under the Breast Screen Singapore program, which can aid you in your decision. One, female 40 and above. Two, no mammogram done for the past 12 months for 40 to 49 years old. Three, no mammogram done for the past 24 months for 50 years old and above. Four, have no symptoms such as breast lumps or nipple discharge. Five, have not been breastfeeding for the past six months. Six, not pregnant and unlikely to get pregnant. Who are at risk of getting breast cancer? Screening is essential as it enables early detection and allows for better overall outcomes after treatment. All women are at risk for breast cancer and the risk increases if you are aged 50 and above and if there is a family history of breast cancer. This is especially so if your mother, sister, or daughter has had breast cancer. However, with regular screening, this condition can be treated effectively if detected early. Signs and Symptoms of Breast Cancer Besides going for screening, learn the common signs and symptoms of breast cancer. One, a painless lump in the breast. Two, persistent rash around the nipple. 3. Bleeding or unusual discharge from the nipple. 4. Swollen or thickened skin around the breast. 5. Dimpled or puckered skin around the breast. 6. Retracted nipple. How often should you go for breast screening? By now, you must be wondering how often you must go for breast screening. Well, the answer is simple. The frequency of the screens are dependent on your age group. One, all women who are age 30 years and above should perform monthly breast self-examination. Two, if you are between 40 to 49 years old, you should go for a mammogram once a year. Three, if you are 50 years and above, you should go for a mammogram once every two years. Preparing for your mammogram appointment. You might be feeling a bit anxious about your first mammogram, but it is important that you relax so that the radiographer can do a good job for you. There is some preparation for your appointment, so let's review a checklist. One, remember to bring your identity card on the day of screening. Two, do not use any body lotion, deodorant, perfume, powder, or ointment on the underarms or breasts as it may interfere with the quality of the x-ray or give a false reading of the x-ray film. Three, wear a comfortable two-piece outfit as you would need to undress from the waist up. Four, try to refrain from wearing any jewelry. Five, if you are pregnant or suspect that you may be pregnant, please inform the mammographer before the mammography screening. Six, please arrive 15 minutes before the appointment time for interview session. Seven, if you wish to change your appointment, please call our contact center at 6275-6443. The mammogram procedure. During the screening, the radiographer will position your breast between two plates of the x-ray machine. Your breast will be gently compressed for a few seconds to get a clear x-ray image. This process will then be repeated for the other side. If you feel any discomfort, please inform the radiographer. After your mammogram. 
After the screening, the participants under the subsidized group Breast Screen Singapore will receive a letter from the Health Promotion Board with the results of the screening in three to four weeks time. Should there be a need for further assessment, you will be referred to the Breast Assessment Center at either National University Health System or Tan Tok Seng Hospital. For foreigners under the non-subsidized program, the standard four images will be taken and a full report will be dispatched to your referring physician, or you may self-collect at our diagnostics counters within two weeks time for review. Thank you for watching and I'd like to wish you the best of health. Bye!